everybody how you doing we're at the hollywood cemetery where a lot of famous people are buried and today we're going to see now now one famous person named virginia rappe virginia rappe was a black and white actress born in new york manhattan her mother was a part-time choir girl mabel rapp her father was unknown so virginia rappe added the e to change her name as she got older, so to become a more successful commercial model in Chicago, where she is from. She won an award, Best Dressed Actress, or Best Dressed Girl in Pictures, shortly after she moved to California, and that's where she met her husband. On Labor Day, 1921, she went to a party thrown by Roscoe Arbuncle, also known as Fatty Arbuncle. It is not clear to what happened that night since a lot of people's stories did not match up and they were different very different um, but what we do know is she suffered from some injuries and died that Friday following the party so the, that's her husband Henry Lerman or fiance I should say that was her fiance they didn't get quite get, didn't get a chance to get married but some say Fatty Arbuncle brutally sexually assaulted Virginia. Others at the party say that didn't happen. There's so many different stories. And the one person that Virginia went to the party with um, was also known as, you know, black male artist. And she had all kinds of different charges in her history. She's just not a good person, evidently. Um, but the rumors soon started to spread after her death, saying in the 1918 she gave birth to a child, and that child was given to foster care. But that rumor was proven false through the autopsy. Rappe's death soon became a first Hollywood scandal. This all happened, too, in San Francisco. Fatty Arbuncle, he's the one that threw the party. He had the, um, a suite in San Francisco. He invited them all over. They came over there. That's when all this happened. But the witnesses claim she suffered from urinary tract infections which could have been aggravated by you know alcohol and stuff they also say that she had syphilis also known as venereal disease vd fatty arbuncle had three trials over this death and was exonerated on the third one with an apology from the jury But, you know, I would show you guys his grave site, but he doesn't have one. He was actually cremated and his ashes were spread over the sea. So, but there's the first Hollywood scandal artist. I mean, <laughs> not artist. The first Hollywood scandal. Um, and it wasn't her fault. It actually happened after her death or because of her death. So she had no idea she was going to be the first Hollywood scandal. She had no idea she was going to be extremely famous to her death. Now, I don't know if some of you people who are really young might not know this, but they had silent black and white movies. And like that's how the movies first were. They were all silent, they're all black and white. And so that was her thing. She was also a very good model. And uh, so that's it, guys. That's one scandal. What really happened, nobody will ever know, considering my grandmother was born in 1920 and Virginia died in 1921. So that tells you that there's probably not going to be very many people nowadays that are going to be alive to be able to even verify or come out with it. So there it is, guys. Want more movies like this? Like, subscribe. Hit that bell. And you'll get notifications every single time I upload a video.